And number two, this is the number two reason. Because you're creepy. You are so creepy. I bet if I saw you Ebolers in real life, you would be some of the most creepy, disgusting, demented that was spin I've ever seen. Because only a creepy, disgusted, demented, you know, socially, you know, um, muted person could write these type of god awful comments. They will spend the time. You are taking time out your day, time out your day to write to to write something so negative about other people. Why would you take your time out your day? Go outside and hug yourself. Walk down the street. Smell the air. You know, go make something. Go draw. Go knit. Go do a two step. Do the you know um, I don't know. Do something. Just don't sit around on your computer and hate all day. Life is too short. To spend your time hating and being negative. Negative energy only breathes negative energy. Even if you take the time, if you don't like my sexuality, if you don't like me, if you don't like something I said, or you don't, I mean, whatever it is, you know, address what I said. Don't be t talking all the smack about people, about things they can't change, or things they're not going to change. Just move on. Keep it moving. Move. Move to the next YouTuber. Move to the next website. Because I have love muffins that love me. So therefore, I don't need no e-boners who, in actuality, are just creepy. They're creepy, insecure creatures. You're a creature. E-boner, you're a creature. <laughs> oh, I really want you guys to learn and use that term. You are an e-boner. You have grown e-balls. That's how I say it. Balls. Mm-hmm. And this is the number one reason, the number one reason, the number one reason Love Muffins get into this, I love saying that, is you really, on some real talk, you hate yourself. When you hate yourself, when you don't love yourself, this is what you do. This is what you do. And people, is, and you can take this from the website, these people with e-balls, and you, you met these people at work. And around you that are so negative and they're so mean and they always got something to say or they always you know talking about somebody behind their back you know and you know and that's the whole thing like you know they're negative people and they hate themselves when people hate themselves and people don't love themselves they don't got no love for who they are as a person this is what they turn into negative you know people who say you know demented hateful things all the time because they are filled with hate not hate for others, they hate themselves. People are reflections, I do believe, of how they feel about themselves, right? So if you love yourself, you're going to love others. If you hate yourself, you're going to hate others. And that's what it is, is hate. Because of all you can come here and do is criticize me about my sexuality. Then I'm doing good. I'm doing so good. <laughs> If all is the worst thing, I, according to you, eat my ears, is my sexuality, then I'm doing so good. Because I am, that is something I didn't dealt with and, and came to terms with years ago, ions ago. <laughs> so I'm saying, you know, love yourself. Eat my ears, take the time to love yourself. How about you not watch my videos? How about you not come to my website? And, or, or, you know, and just spend time with yourself. Sit somewhere and let it marinate and manif manifest in your spirit. Why am I a e-baller? What is it about me that makes me so whack to come and constantly try to bring other people down? When they are fabulous, I have friends. I have people who love me, okay? I have, you know, a wonderful life. A wonderful life. And I thank God for that. Every day when I wake up, love muffins. Thank God that you are alive. You know, I thank God that I am alive today. Today, this day, Friday, I am alive today. I didn't have to wake up this morning, but I did. I woke up this morning and it fills me with joy. I tell you, it fills me with joy to know that I'm here. I've had people in my family die that I'm, I was so close to. And that, that's the reason why I feel like this. Because, you know, I know what it's like, you know, to lose someone you love. And that made me appreciate life. I appreciate life. I didn't have to be here, and I'm healthy, and I'm happy, and I'm, I'm here, right? So, I understand that to all the e-ballers. You have a purpose, whatever it is, and it's not to hate on others. It's not to be an e-baller, okay? You have other things to do with your wonderful life. 
God did not put you here on earth to hate on others and to be so negative. Why? Why would you do it? Why? To hate on someone for being different, for being something that you're not used to. That's all it is. You know, you, you can stand out for other reasons than making nasty, hateful comments. You, you can get friends. You don't have to be insecure. And you don't have to be creepy, right? If you, if you spent more time around people that actually talk back to you <laughs> and not the computer, um, you probably wouldn't be as creepy as you are, boo-boo. All right? And I want to say to all my love muffins and my e bowlers my e bowlers that I love you. There is nothing but love that comes out of me. Even sometimes when I talk about things and I get passionate and I call people tribes and stuff, it's only because, you know, of my love and of my frustration of how society could be so mean and so cold and do things. And we as human beings can do things to other people, right? So I just want to say that love each other, love one another, okay? I love you, alrighty? Double kisses. Mwah. Mwah.